Hello YouTube and welcome to Ground Forks Plays KSP. This is episode 15 of our career mode stock playthrough. We are playing with version 1.41 I think, the, with making history. And we are taking some more, you know, contracts. And the, namely the contracts that we will be taking are the ones that are taking us to the moon. Because, well, we have been to the moon once only and that's not a Kerbal thing to do. But also there are some contracts that won't plant a flag on moon, uh, send the data to moon, etc, etc. So now I'm just trying to find some nodes that I won't unlock. I want to unlock a bigger fuel tanks for sure. And a better landing legs perhaps wouldn't go amiss. I don't know, or maybe a solar panels. Those are also kind of cool. So, it's important to take a look. Now, I already have my moon lander, the craft that we have built in previous episode. I just want to make tiny adjustments to it. And the tiny adjustment being uh, another fuel tank that would be bigger, simply said, like, yeah, this one looks legit. So, that's the Jumbo 64. Oh, that's an orange tank with a new texture. Wonderful. I want to have it and I want to have it now. So, oh, wrong one again. Yes, that one. Look at it. That's the old orange tank. Perfect. Let's slap a mainsail on the bottom and then I want to be putting more boosters. And by more, I mean four. Six? Nah, that looks ugly. Let's put four. Perfect. Then we put the fins to maintain stability. I would like these boosters to actually have a little bit more oomph, so let us just pull, extend the fuel tanks a little bit. And I would prefer not to go with onion staging, but let's go with the asparagus staging, because, well, mm, wrong, wait. Take away the symmetry and connect you to you, yes. Then we will connect you to the main stack, yes. Then we'll connect you booster to the other booster and then you again booster to the main stack. Good, I'm already getting dizzy from all these rotations. Anyway, uh, let's see. We now have to obviously correct our staging because staging has to change. Let's just see that we are dropping them in correct pairs. Because first the, we have to drop the ones that are being consumed, then we're dropping the other ones, so yeah. Alright. There we go. I think that's good enough. Let's see the utility. Uh, do we have any more experiments? Uh, I don't think so. Crew. Jab, Bill and Bob. No. Jeb, yeah, you can pilot, but we'll take somebody else. Bob as a scientist, that's good. And let's take Tumlin Kerman as an engineer. Perfect. Let's launch. Jeb, Bob and Tumlin, are you ready to go? Three, two, one, ignition. And we are off and running, or flying so this whole episode is as always slightly accelerated because I want to get everything in you know in a timely fashion so that the episode doesn't last too long and after all this content you have seen me do many times ascent and everything drop the boosters oopsie daisy almost Almost ended the mission right there. That's why it's good to have these uh, ejection seats if necessary. Okay. Going for orbital prograde, uh, just to make sure that we raise our apoapsis correctly. 
taking a look at the resources how are they being drained good enough good enough come on and dropping the boosters and there we go 100 kilometers that's always my starting point because I don't know I, I find it a sweet spot so 100 kilometers perfect let's do some minor corrections if we need to and then all right let's disconnect the what do you call it the decoupler that's hosting an abort system we don't need it anymore we are in the out of the atmosphere so if things go wrong yes we will fall like a brick that's for sure okay 1394 meters per second to circularize I would say that's pretty efficient I mean I've seen uh, the ones that you had like 30 meters per second to circularize but hey this is good in my book. There we go. Everybody's jumping. Bob is slightly, you know, confused. But Jeb is happy and Tamlin is happy. Staging and uh, I think we will have plenty of fuel Maybe not plenty plenty is an overstatement, but uh, enough I would say The previous one we were already circularizing on this four engines and it didn't give me the needed confidence to actually push it onwards. So yeah There we go. Time accelerating it and two seconds burn. It's a short burn, so might as well take it. Burn. There we go. Not my proudest moment, but then again, I mean, I don't care that much. You know, don't need to be super accurate with that one, so. Let's just correct the ascending node. Or was it descending? I couldn't tell. There we go. Also tiny burn, 26 meters per second. So that's everything fine. Perfect. Looks legit. Okay, time to go and burn for the ejection. Let's just see what's the most efficient burn that we can make. Oh, even better, even better. I just have to find the best fiddly point for, you know, there we go, somewhere around here-ish. And the moon periapsis is quite low here, I guess that's doable. 831, nothing too huge. Okay, getting ready. One minute, 20 seconds. I think I'm gonna burn around 41 second mark. And burn. Okay, this will be a little bit longer burn, but uh, then again, what do I expect? It's an ejection burn, so. Get 
Get it up there. Doing quite well so far, and it seems like uh, this 800 meters per second will take half of our tank. So... Fuel-wise, I think we're good. There we go. A little bit more, a little bit more. Perfect. Okay. Time to transition and go to the moon. Off we go. We will keep our eye on the moon. Now we're in Kerbin's shadow. Just until we come back to the sun. And now let's see. There we go. Hey, moon. Perfect, we are already in Moon Sphere of Influence. Oh, I really should clean up these derelict ships. They pile up like a bunch of crap they are. Okay, never mind. Let's add a maneuver node at the periapsis. And reduce our apoapsis, of course. And we want our periapsis to be roughly 10-ish or 20. 21, I think that's doable. That's another 329 meters per second. Kicking the time acceleration just by a smidge. Right, burn. Oh, it will even, uh, we will not even consume all of our fuel. That's wonderful. There we go. We have still plenty of the fuel in the, in the transfer stage, which I'm going to use for sure. Let's add a maneuver and could I actually land it directly? I think so. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. 276. Plenty of fuel to go around, so might as well, you know, pick a good landing spot somewhere. Let's flip the birdie. And burning. Almost got a little bit late in there. Perfect. And we are coming over the crater now. So... There we go. Surface 414 and look at that curb and rise. Awesome. It's amazing. Screenshot. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I think I have decelerated enough. We will be landing in the middle of this crater. I don't want to accelerate or decelerate too early because we will still be falling down like a brick. So I think the most efficient is to actually burn when you have you're supposed to do the suicide burden, but then again, I don't like this term suicide burn. It looks, sounds a little bit extreme. So I'm gonna, you know, chew off a little bit by bit of the speed as I go down. And I want to get rid of that booster, of course. Right. 
little bit more and I think it's pretty safe to detach now. A little bit more, come on, deceleration. Okay. A little bit more. Every drop of fuel counts. So. There we go. I'm waiting until the engine fails, which it did. Bye bye, tank. However, I don't want it falling directly below me because that would mean that I might have an issue on landing on top of it. And that's something I definitely don't want. Okay, I can land next to it, that's fine. And it seems like it will bump down now. Nice smooth landing that is. Oh, it blew. Well, at least I know the altitude because I'm 700 meters up uh, as opposed to 2500 what my altimeter is telling me so this is also guys a good way how to judge the height remaining height so okay kicking the engines a little bit and I have actually Jeb is in a seasoned pilot so I think figured I put him for you know surface retrograde and uh, yeah oh coming in closer Screenshot coming a little hot. Okay, increase, increase. Wait for it. Oh, 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 no, no, not now, not now. Dang it. Nice work, Jeb, like landing a brick. Okay, can we upright it on the power of the reaction wheels? I don't think so. Reaction wheels, let's do a break dance. Nope. Okay, and there is our tank. Now, how could we do this? How about... Let's see, let's auto-save. Let's see the landing legs. Can we straighten using the landing legs? Nope, we cannot. Then how about I just put down the flag, grab some science and then we try to figure out the way how to get the hell out of here. All right. That's done. Let's climb the crew hatch. Right, okay, let's open up. Let's open up, oh, not you, but uh, service bay. Let's open it up. Woohoo! Look at that! Kicking the engines just a little bit. Come on. Decrease velocity. Decrease. Not that much up. Not that much up. I didn't want to go that much up. Oh, now we're just flying willy nilly. Okay, let's try this again. Slowly. I mean, I wanted a good selfie, so you cannot have that with the ship tipped over. I mean, you can, but you don't want to. It's bad propaganda. Now, you want happy faces, smiling astronauts, everything is great for to be able to be able to get funding. So, okay, much easier now, easier. There we go. Okay, don't, don't you be jumping yet again, mister. There we go. Much better this time. Perfect. Let's do some science. Science Junior, thank you. Mat atmospheric pressure, temperature, moon's far side crater, mystery goo. Thank you very much. Crew report? That one we can actually send. Look at that. 
Little antenna transmitting. Perfect, that concludes also one of our contracts. Okay, close. EVA report, perfect. Board back. And I think it's time that we go home. Oh, well, some derelict ship flying over. Like I said, I need to clean them up. Three, two, one, kick it off. And we are up and going. I mean, it fired off at two times acceleration. It looks like as it was fired by thousand demons. No, 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 that's fine. Anyway. Perfect. There we go. Still have enough fuel to get home, hopefully. Now let's find Kerbin. There you are, Kerbin. Add maneuver. I always figure out add manure, but add maneuver, I think that sounds better. 100 and oh, I have to correct my periapsis to. Oh, come on. 20 ish. There we go. Perfect. 255. I hope I will have enough. We don't have a whole lot, but should be enough, hopefully. There we go. Bring it down to the wire and get ready for the burn. Burning. Oh yes, we have plenty of fuel. Good, because I was already getting jittery. 64 to 27. Perfect. I, th I would say this is good enough. And now we only have to remember to collect the science because... And we'll take the scientist. Why, you may ask? Because then when pilot is piloting the craft, the craft is stable. It doesn't rotate. And the scientists can reset these other experiments. So, collect the data and then restore the experiment. See? We can do it all over again. Perfect. So, you can scrub the data and basically reuse it. So, it pays off to bring a scientist with you to the mission. Doing the same with the mystery goo, perfect, thank you very much. Some science to be have for sure. Let's take a cool selfie. Hello! Now, all right, let's board the craft and get the hell out of here. Board, will you? Please, thank you. Some experiments added, I'm happy. Jab is happy, Bob is happy, and Tamlin is happy. Time to go back home. And while we're going, might as well close this ugly doors. I don't want this ship to look like a freaking blackbird or something. Come on. Close, close. Okay, we have some more experiments, actually, that we could first do in space high. Let's just grab, scrub them. Come on, Bob, stop faffing around. Give me some science, will you? Okay, grab, board, perfect. That fixes that issue. Okay, taking a look at Kerbin, and it's time to go back home. Kicking it a little bit up a notch. What? Oh, I forgot. We have changed the sphere of influence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all fine and dandy. Let's go back to Kerbin. There we go. 
detaching, just angling the capsule to make sure that we don't fall, that it doesn't come back to hit us in the face. Oh, and look, we're heading towards the KSC. Oh, ain't that grand. This is actually the second mission where I'm flying over the Kerbal Space Center. Guys, to be honest, I didn't aim it. I don't know how. <laughs> but anyway, it's all good fun. I guess the ablator is still holding. It's being cons consumed at a rather sedate pace, though. Jeb, Bob, and Tamlin. By the way, guys, if you like this video, do smash that like button. Hit subscribe, I mean, if you haven't already done so. And you can always hit that little bell close to subscribe if you want to be notified about every video that I make. Uh, and, of course, do come and connect on the social media. I've noticed that most of you, or the, one, the vocal majority of you, is using Instagram and not so many Facebook. So, I will be building my Instagram present. Maybe I will post some hints, what is coming next, what it will be. So I will post the link to the Instagram probably in the next episode or so. Uh, do check it out. All right. 1,200 meters to go and we are looking good. Six hundred meters to go. Okay, ready to be recovered. And the last contract will be done as soon as we recover the vessel. Perfect. That's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Like if you like, and I'll see you all in the next episode. But until then, thank you very much for watching. This is Gromforks signing off. And cut.